Ryan Long returned for his eighth game on Jeopardy. He went a seven-day total of $145,201. My Bialik's instruction was, with his seventh victory, our champion Ryan Long is certainly making his mark here on the Alex Trebek stage, and he's also breaking records among champions from his hometown of Philadelphia. He has now earned more money in regular season play than any other contestant from that city. It's very, very impressive. Wait, when did they start doing city records? After Mateo won six games, she was the most successful Canadian player. Ryan is still American. How often are there players from Philadelphia? I noticed Eric has an accent mark in his name. I don't think I've seen that before. Speaking of Canadian players and Eric, Eric Perez is from Canada. And I actually like how Johnny and Mayan pronounce his name. Eric Perez. Maybe I should pronounce it as Perez. I also remember on Amy Schneider's 27th appearance, I commented I only knew the bong, bong, bong question because it came up in the game of Fibbage. Well, I imagine the rip from the headlines category will include stories or headlines that might have also come up in Fibbage. Especially since my am added, these were actual headlines. Marijuana issues sent to this committee, generally composed of members of both houses of the legislature. Ryan answered bipartisan committee, which was wrong. Then when no one else buzzed in, Mayim told him, Joint Committee. Get it? No, Mayim, I actually don't. <laughs> the only joint I know of is a joint variant in, I think it was Algebra. The audience laughed after her Joint Committee comment. I also love how the one time Mayim called the Jeopardy stage the Alex Trebek stage. Ryan mentioned Alex Trebek in his interview. He watched Jeopardy with his mom who thought Alex was handsome. <laughs> Ryan got the first daily double, risked 2000 unfortunately answered wrong and went down to $3,600. For the second game in a row, Ryan was tied for first place at the end of single Jeopardy. Ryan and Bonnie were tied at $3,600. Another tie. <laughs> Eric was in second place, third place. Let's just say he went $2,200. <laughs> Bonnie got the first daily double in double Jeopardy. She waited $1,200. She got it right, and I hate that I didn't know. This Shakespeare character says, When I was about thy years, how... I was not an eagle's talent in the waste. The answer was Sir John Falstaff. That took her to $4,400. He got both daily doubles. Ryan got the second daily double in the Liberty for his 2000 and sounded tired when he said it. Uh, what is the Hudson? He unfortunately answered wrong and went down to $10,400. Nobody answered the last question in Double Jeopardy, which was a 1787 land ordinance set policy and was named for this large region acquired in the Revolutionary War. The answer was the Northwest Territory. Now this is funny because on Amy Schneider's 18th game, the answer did come up and it wasn't accepted because it was singular. Eric was in third place at 5,800. Bonnie was in second place at 7,600, exactly half, and Ryan was in lead at $15,200. The Final Jeopardy category was the Middle Ages. This was another Final Jeopardy round the Jeopardy YouTube channel didn't upload. That's two. His fourth appearance wasn't uploaded, and his eighth appearance wasn't uploaded. Maybe it's a pattern. The audience did not catch on to this, though. The question was, it was a surname of the two Scottish brothers who claimed monarchies of two different countries in the 13 teens. So I thought I would have known this because it was the Middle Ages, except this is Scottish history. I don't even remember what I originally guessed. The answer was Bruce, which Eric answered correctly. Check this out. Not only did Bonnie and Ryan guess the same wrong answer, they both intended to win $15,200. Bonnie risked it all to tie Ryan, and Ryan didn't wager anything, meaning if both were correct, they would have been tied at $15,200. I'm sure this would have been mentioned in the comments if this was posted. <laughs> Ryan's down an eight-day total of $160,401. And as always, thank you for watching.